This is a quick video on how to clean your blocked printer uh, head or nozzles on a Canon MX870. So in this I've already uh, removed the ink cartridges but to do that you just open up your tray down here and push the bottom and allow the kickstand to go into place. The heads are all aligned quite nicely in the middle and then you can remove them quite simply. For example I'll just pl place this one back in, they'll be in like this push this tab forward, lift and right, and um, remove your ink cartridge. I've just put them upside down so that way the ink doesn't drain all over the table. This part down here is where you, what you want to get out. It's got your head on the other side of it and that's what those little holes are where all the ink goes down. And for me one of them is blocked because every time I print out one of these test pages it, no matter what I do with the nozzle cleaning setting um, I've run this through probably about 15 times now it won't make a nice pattern. It, it did get a lot clearer. Um, here's some earlier ones that I did where the colours really didn't come through very much. But you can see the pattern here is very um, disjointed and, and not what I'm after. So if you're getting that problem you need to remove this part here and you can clean it. So lifting up this part here until it clicks into place and it will stay upright. You will then gain access to the printer head. So just grab the two little tabs and just gently raise it out. So with this you just want to place it under the, the hot water on the tap and just rinse it through. So you can see how much ink is all gunked up in there, especially in this one here which I think is what is causing me the dramas. That's one of the black ink cartridges in there that will go into that spot. On the back there's a lot of ink that's just splayed all over the bottom there and I'll hopefully better wash all that out. So under a hot tap it goes. So I've run that through for a few minutes, it's come up a lot cleaner. Now I'll just wipe that down with a dry cloth, just using a chucks cloth, just get in there and dab all that water in there. Once it's done, I'll give it a bit of a spray with some compressed air. You don't have to use this, but if you've got it, it helps to get any water that's lingering inside these channels here, just to flush it out. If you're going to use compressed air, be careful if you've got any leftover ink in your um, reservoirs in here because it will spray that ink everywhere. And you can give it the inside of that a bit of a wipe if you want. If there's any splodges of ink in there, you can soak them up. So to place the train, just slide it in with the circuit board facing the rear where the pins are. Lower the locking lever and it's in there. Now it's ready to put the cartridges back in. So what I advise you do now is do a setup check. So push this button here that says setup and it'll take you to this screen here. So the one you want to choose is maintenance. Print nozzle check pattern. You want to print the nozzle check pattern? Yes. This will take a little bit and it'll print out one of these test reports like I've got here. Um, so the ink cartridges that I've got, I actually got these off a box full of them off eBay. It would have been like $35. And I think I've got six sets of cartridges in there, so definitely worth it. Um, so I've got plenty of ink. Definitely a good investment with one of these printers that uses a lot of ink. There's some test pictures I've printed out beforehand. So you can see it's started coming out alright and then it started to get clogged. 
I thought it ran out of ink, so I changed them over, but some more here that just didn't print out. Another one here didn't print magenta, so it looks very green. So just these simple maintenance tasks. If the printer um, plays up, can save you having to purchase a new printer, especially if you've gone and you've got spare cartridges. So this is just doing its own um, internal diagnostics now, cleaning the printer heads, and once it's done, it will give me the option to print and look at that lovely I haven't seen it print like this in a long time so this is what it used to look like this is what it looks like now so before it didn't even print this you can see it didn't print it there and all of the lines come out here and they barely even came out there and all the rest of the colors are perfect as well if you've got any issues with the print if it's almost completely good maybe it's missing a couple of these lines um, but if it's terrible like this after a few goes definitely uh, rinse it out but what you can do is on the screen after it prints it out it asks you how the test pattern came out did it come out like a or did it come out like B? So if your colours got lines through them or the black like cell looking things have missing lines then choose B and it will give you the option to clean the print nozzles but if it's fine just go with A. I've noticed that this will also work with other Canon printers in the Pixima range and potentially even others so if you can't find any advice on how to do it with your particular printer um, have a look to see if you can lift up the cartridges, take them out and then take the head seat or whatever you call it out. Thank you for watching this video and if you've got something out of it and fixed your old printer then good job. Give it a thumbs up.